I like to program, I like to play with like Raspberry Pi or Arduinos, I'm very into that. I am Andrea Micheli and I'm a postdoc in FBK, in the Embedded Systems Unit. Being a researcher is a very interesting job because you are discovering something new every day or you are rediscovering something new every day. My PhD uh, thesis was about planning in temporally uncertain domains. We wanted to consider temporal uncertainty, so the fact that you cannot control directly the duration of the action. So for instance, if you want to schedule yourself to go and catch a bus, you cannot actually be sure exactly when the, when the bus will arrive because it's not up to you, it's up to the traffic. And so what we did was that we want to model this kind of uncertainty directly into the planning problem and came up with plans that are robust. So an engineer or a domain expert can tell me, well, I don't know exactly how it's gonna take for the robot for going from point A to point B, but I can tell you that it will be between 10 minutes and 12 minutes. Instead, if you pre-compute, the plan, the strategy that you want to follow, then a human is able to analyze. Of course, it can be an effort, but uh, if your system is curiosity on Mars and costs billions of dollars to deploy the system there, it's worth the time spent in, in analyzing and certifying the plan. That's why uh, part of my work was in collaboration with NASA and I did my internship in Mountain View in a, in a research center by NASA. In my free time, I'm a movie fan and I also like Netflix. I like biking, for instance, so I'm also a bit of a nerdy person. So I used Raspberry Pi to develop a smart mirror that was a makeup mirror for my girlfriend. So it has basically all the lights uh, surrounding the mirror that you can control. And also behind the mirror, you can see time, you have the fortune of the day. So my girlfriend, while making up, she can actually look at this fancy thing. <laughs> Of course it's nerdy, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not uh, excusing myself, but my girlfriend really liked it because it was handmade by me. Yeah, I was more confident when I became a postdoc. Probably because, well, you don't have like the thesis that is waiting for you. You are not any longer like the student that is judged by the other, but you are part of a community that tries to push the boundaries of knowledge. So the kind of technologies that uh, we developed here in the ES unit for planning are being used now in different projects. And uh, one of them is about uh, controlling a factory here in Trentino in order to optimize the production. It's very important because in Europe, since the uh, job market is more expensive than in other countries, then we need to optimize our production in order to be competitive. Otherwise, the factory will simply close. On the other hand, the explainability of what we are doing and the impact on the job market is, is things that we need to consider. Looking back at my first artificial intelligence conference, it was in 2012, we were not even close to what we can do just now. Associated with such an advancement, there's always a risk though. So the fact that you can use a machine to take decision instead of a human is per se a kind of a risk. We shall not leave like the development to kill us. We need to anticipate it and we need to prepare for the changes that are in front of us.